Hi guys, what we're going to be cooking today is a beautiful, simple fillet steak with a red wine reduction. Okay, so let's start off with the sauce. We've got like a little mirepoix, so we've got some carrot, we've got some celery, and we've got some onion. Okay, so just slice your celery, slice your carrot. And this sauce is like the easiest sauce in the world to make. It doesn't require much. Next, just slice your onion, and just roughly slice your garlic. Okay, get a small pan on a medium heat. Add a touch of olive oil in. Okay, add your onion, Next, the celery, the carrot, Put your garlic in, pinch of salt, pinch of pepper, some dried rosemary, and some dried thyme. And these really work well in this dish. So give it all a good stir, and make sure your heat's not on too high, and uh, cook them out for about 10 minutes. And you want some nice color on these vegetables, because these are gonna flavor the sauce. And just to help them caramelize, Add a touch of sugar. Okay, so this has been cooking for 10 minutes and it's got like a bit of colour on it. And this kitchen smells beautiful. So now what I'm going to add is the red wine. Okay, the wine I'm going to use, um, it's certainly not a cheap wine. And it's most certainly not an expensive wine. It's just in the middle of the road. It's just, you know, it's just an average wine. Use what you want to use. Okay, so wine in. Next up, beef stock. And a bunch of fresh parsley. Now give all a good stir and bring it up to the boil. Okay, so that's on a boil now. So what we're gonna do, basically, we're gonna reduce it and reduce it and reduce it so it's a nice, thick, beautiful consistency. Reduction just means to thicken, uh, to intensify the flavors. So reduce so you get a really nice consistency. Look at that, I mean, that's really reduced down. It's not quite there yet, but it's getting there. But that is beautiful. Okay, that's reduced to where I want it. Beautiful. Now we're gonna strain it. Okay, so let's strain our sauce. And then just push down to get the maximum flavor. Because this has done its job. This has flavored the sauce. Just get every last bit in that pan. And that is what you're left with. That beautiful, beautiful goodness. Reduced and reduced down, intensified all the flavors. Beautiful, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it back on the stove and add some butter. And that just gives it a nice little sheen. Look at that. Okay, so add your butter. And then gently stir. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, I got some beautiful sirloin fillet, and what we're gonna do is at room temperature. So what we're gonna do now is uh, season it. Plenty of salt. Plenty of ground black pepper. And do this on the other side. Okay, I've got a pan on a high heat, and when you've got like a smoke point like I have, add a bit of ground nut oil. Steak in, away from you. And what you're basically looking for, guys, is a nice crispy crust on that. You want some color on that meat. And it's certainly personal preference of how you want your meat. I'm gonna have my meat medium. So, you know, if you're using a temperature that's 140 to 145. I mean, if you want it rare, it's 125. Uh, if you're doing medium rare, it's 130 to 135. If you're medium well, it's 150 to 155, and if you do one well, well done, it's 160 above. So, personal preference. Okay, so that's a good temperature that I like my meat at. So what we're gonna do now is take it out and rest it. Now just let that rest. That 
looks fantastic. Also what I'm going to do with this dish is some beautiful asparagus. Beautiful. Okay, so season your asparagus. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. Olive oil. Just give it a light mix. So there you go guys, that's my sirloin filet with a red wine reduction. Perfect for Valentine's Day, absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm.